Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of the Gamut Network. We are spotlighting uh, quite a few amazing people, and I hope I even have enough time to talk about all the incredible things that our guest today um, has to share with us. It is National Down Syndrome Awareness Month, and we couldn't have picked a better person to spotlight than my new friend, Brandon. Brandon, welcome to the show. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? <clears throat> I'm Brandon Wilbur, and I was born in Fresno. No, no I live here, Brentwood. In Brentwood, California? Mm-hmm. And I, I love to do acting and, and modeling to learn new things. <clears throat> and I love to travel. Juggle? Travel. Wow, oh, travel, travel, yes. And I think that you uh, love France, is that correct? Um, I, I love um, my Amy Century. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, Germany. Germany, amazing. Um, before we get into a few of my questions, I would like to really talk about this incredible shirt that you're wearing that apparently you designed. Yes, I designed it. Can we and stick and you stand that. up for a second so we can see the whole shirt? It's not just that. I made myself a, a, a suit out of it. You made a suit out of it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would love to see that. That's why it looks like I'm on stage in Santa Cruz. In Santa Cruz? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you look very, very handsome and amazing. That is so super cool. I think everybody is going to want a suit and a shirt like that. Thank you for wearing it. Yeah. Gorgeous. And it says something very important on it. What does it say on it? It's be yourself. And why is that important to you? What, what, what do you want to say to everybody out there about that message? That, that message is also by itself. Uh, as you didn't notice, I have my personal model. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, and, and I love that message so much because it's exactly how everybody should be, right? And it's fairly simple. Mm -hmm. All you need to do during your lifetime is to just be yourself. Whoever you were meant to be and whatever that means, it is, it's fairly simple. And thank you so much for sharing that with the, the audience today. It's, it's so important and a perfect way to start this interview. So thank you. So can you tell us a little bit, you had some pretty important um, experiences in your life that I believe shaped you to who you are today. Um, in high school, in the beginning of high school, you had a, a, a rough experience. Can you share a little bit about that with us? Sure. Since I was my, own, my first year of high school, things went pretty rocky. Since then, um, and of course, my father had a, a, a tragic thing during the, the same year. Mm. That is the first thing I, I came up with, just go to high school by, by myself with no help. So I got myself help instead. And then, and fast forward, I was a South African. I fight for the things so I believe in. That is so important. So just to to talk a little bit more fully about that. So freshman year in high school, some kids weren't so kind and they weren't um, accepting you for who you are. And fast forward all the way up to senior year, where I just want to make sure that I'm saying all this because it's really spectacular. You were voted best dancer. You mm -hmm. uh, were voted most school spirit 
and you were the homecoming king. So I think these are three things that, that most high school students don't get to experience ever, and you were voted all three. Um, what do you think helped to get you to that point from kids not being so nice to all of a sudden, all, you know, those four years, suddenly being who you are and having them accept you for that? It's not just only that. It had, it had to be, um, I always think very high of myself and just think about just and we had in a positive place. How beautiful and important, right? Because if you don't feel that way about yourself, how is anybody else going to feel that way about you? Even themselves too. Yes, to believe in themselves. And you also started your own foundation called 321 Life Plus One Project. Tell me about that. <clears throat> And I have my own foundation. I started in high school. And so I, I did some networking. <laughs> it's my thing. And, and yeah, I, I did some things with people where I meet, where I gone to, like conferences and meeting the, the mayor and wow. stuff, like governor stuff. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And the money that you raised for your foundation, what did it go to? It, it goes to our person, which is in Santa Cruz area. Uh-huh. We hired someone for to do our financial. Beautiful. Services. So we just keep on going until we're getting new things, like scholarships, camps, and this is what I do it myself. Most likely, it's fun pointing to that, this happened. Oh my goodness. So let's just be clear. That's People Magazine, everybody. That he has been in twice, I believe. And let's see that picture again. Uh, three times, apologies. You are, you were called the Prince of the Prom. I think that is so spectacular and so well said. What did that feel like to you when you saw yourself in People Magazine? I was like in shock. <laughs> and also, I, was, I didn't even know I had to do this. <laughs> I, I mean, Brandon, let's just call it what it is. Most people in their lifetime don't get to be in People Magazine, let alone be called the Prince of the Prom. So bravo, bravo to you. And you also help over 650 students and youth have an exclusive, inclusive experience. Yes. And those are the people I, I helped with is 19 students with migrant student farmers. That is so amazing. To, so that they could have an experience that was meaningful to you to be included. Yeah, it's not just myself. Right. It's for migrants and my own kind. Yeah. You are absolutely spectacular. And not to mention that you also just completed your acting certificate that has taken you, I think about five years to complete. So you are a trained actor. Mm-hmm. And you are also taking classes for a nonprofit management, which I could certainly use your help with. So whenever you're available, I could definitely use your experience with that. And not to mention, you serve on the board of directors at the National Down Syndrome Society. Mm -hmm. What is that like? Oh, I'm sorry. And they just asked you to resign to uh, be take another term of three years? I think this is my, my last three years here for this year. And starting next year, we will be different. I was got recruited since um, last couple of days ago or so. And I was doing it at the board meeting and we did some things like 
we talk about things that I've been doing. Um, I have been on the board of directors almost three years, and I traveled to Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. and New York City for my board meetings and other things too. <laughs> and we help to change laws to make our lives better. I also am a South African to show the world what, what we can do. Not and, you can not do. And it is not only what you can do, you are doing even more than some people do during their life. And I think that is such an important thing to underscore and, and really share. Can you tell us a little bit about when you go to Washington, D.C., what laws are you trying? What is, what is the most important thing that you feel that you could do to, to change law in Washington, D.C.? Is to live an American dream. Mm -hmm. For everybody? For everybody with Down syndrome and all different types. Do you think that you're living the American dream? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I would I'm, say yeah. you are for sure. And you look very handsome doing it. That's correct. <laughs> so <laughs> then you also, let's talk about a little bit of your modeling because you've also been in a couple of shows. Tell us about those. <clears throat> well, and during the, at the time I was doing my own, my, my fashion designing with that, I did pretty few gigs and I was pretty happy with what I do for being a model and stuff. And most likely just show up and be yourself. That's all there is to it. I couldn't agree more. And you make it sound very simple because that's how it, should be. Everybody should just show up and be themselves, whatever that looks like. And you exemplify that so beautifully. It's, it's really um, amazing to hear you, you speak about that. What does it feel like to be on a runway? It feels pretty, at times it's not as that, but most likely I am one because I see, I wish for the stars. That's why. I love that. And you should, and you're not only reaching, you're, you're catching them. With everything that you have done, you are catching the stars, my friend. And I cannot wait to watch you soar in this, this lifetime. But before we go, I wanna ask you, well, first of all, how can people get in touch with you? If they wanna follow you on social media, where do they go? Well, um, most likely I use uh, Instagram more. Okay. And sometimes Facebook. And what is your Instagram handle? Um, at official Benji. Perfect, thank you. And I highly encourage everybody to follow this spectacular young man and watch where he goes in life. And speaking of that, if we had to kind of look into Brandon's dreams of the future, of what you wanna do in life, what would we see? <clears throat> I always wanted to help others and of course, I want to learn how to live on my own, like my independence, mm -hmm. and also getting married. I love that. Wow. I think you're, especially after this interview, I think you're going to have a lot of suitors. I think you're going to have a lot of ladies reaching out. I afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I have already. <laughs> Because I, I met them in, in, in conferences and conference, yeah, conventions and others too, international ones too. 
in Congress. You are really a spectacular young man and I feel incredibly lucky to have met you. Thank you so much for being on the show and keep doing what you're doing and we're gonna be right there by your side cheering you on. Thanks. You're welcome. If you would like to be on the Gamut Network, please email us at talent at gametmanagement.com to tell us why you'd be a great guest. Please also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at The Gamut Network, as well as follow us on social media at Gamut Management. Thank you again so much, Brandon. You too. Bye. Bye.